prize pool here in this main event in its own right. So we'll see how things all unfold. It will be Rise on the offense first. Pretty heavy stack over the middle of the map. Taking a position to maybe even read this as LG have actually a pretty full stack defensively up them gut. And how about the combination of Dre, Tig, and Bane? Oh my goodness. Four falls so quickly. It's just up to Derek. And well, I don't really know where you go from here, friend. <laughs> Yeah, it's one of those situations where both teams decide to roll the dice on doing some early mid control. A long dazzle able to find the ultimate orb, and beyond that, just control like the entire that. lane. Yeah, me too. It, it, it's nice because it allows them to focus up on this cat press into tree area. They can kind of focus their defense one direction because they know A lobby is clear. You can see the benefits they are reaping from it right now. Bonus looking pretty solid. Dazzle, who had pushed through A long, now has to kind of play their life over by wine. Help is on the way, though. The spike should be able to get planted here. Shank's not going to be denied. Door has been shut on this rotation through tree, which, of course, the defense will likely take care of no problem. And they will at least throw some shots that way. That'll keep Derek's attention mostly pressed over towards tree. And maybe I'm going to think about the wide peak finds one, finds two. Beautiful stuff from Derek. And now it's just down to Dazzle, and everyone knows where he's at. 15 HP. And what was looking like a very promising bonus is all of a sudden just come down to Dazzle for the 1v2, trying to find an angle to peak. Throws out a couple of the shots, but Shank's oh, wide angle early. And as you said, it creates a lot of presence, which means that A is going to be a little bit more vulnerable, though I have to say LGF rotated pretty quickly up through heaven. And they have been big on top of the site. Could have been two before dropping. Dazzle up above, able to find his trade. So it does kind of rely on now a 2v3 for Ryze to still get this going, and there will be an opportunity in front of Derek, but can only find one. So now poised from behind, no spike. We'll have to win this round off of both kills. Have to move quickly. Ban absolutely hears it. Bring out the site and getting in and just pushing these players back to the chokes points and forcing a retake. Now a man behind. Yes, they have superior firepower, but look at Shanks making a money move late flank oh. mid to be the insurance it, policy. It is just one knife, though, in hand, so it's got to hit ahead. Lines it up. Perfect! Finds the second! Looking for more! Those were a little bit shakier, but still, three kills from Shanks may be enough. It's Dazzle for the 1v4, and they're going to use the divide to allow them a chance to get deep on towards this B site. Force out the nanos from Shanks, able to dash away. Does take a lot of damage, and Tig actually responds to Neptune on the long play. So this is already good, but Shanks maybe to save the day once more. Finds the first. Knows the second has to be close. Not able to lock down the shot. Tig for a second. Time becoming a bit of a problem. Need to get this plant off, and they will be able to salvage it. Thanks to Ban, able to find a pick through the middle of the map. Yeah, like you said, kind of just bypassing all the Killjoy utility yeah. on Speed Bay by using the Cosmic Divide to attack the ramp side instead. A brilliant move, but they did kind of lose out on the trades here. A man behind now on this post-plant hold. There's a res available for Ban as well. Oh, the timing for Super is incredible, though! The area into window. Seeker's uh. going to come out to help follow that up as well. This is really good information, but this time Dazzle does have a defensive under Fury. Going to be able to tag down one. That's all he's going to get, though. Shanks around the back. Able to find Tig up top. Beyond more than that, gets the Cloud Burst into play. Able to find one more, but Dazzle keeps things interesting. Nine seconds on the clock, but the spike does get planted. Come out with some type of one before clutch. We've already been detected, so he'll get traded out. But So just a lot of posturing right now from both teams. I would say more so from Rise though, getting a bit frisky with some of these individuals, including Poise, who, yeah, like you mentioned, not scouted by the Aldrone. So Dazzle's going to be running into point of contact here, maybe even thinking that mid is safe. You can see he's got consideration for this angle, but the shoulder is seen. Poise finds the kill, and now once again, Rise can afford this uh, A hit for multiple angles. Tig's going to try to hold up the front, finds one, finds two, looking for the third, has to try to swap to the secondary. Couldn't quite get the wheeled up in time, but Dre, who had fallen back, popped the Empress, finds the kill, and it's just down to boys. 1v2. Has to move quickly. Dre on top of the site, though. Cleans wow. things up, and man. Well, Luminosity have also collected the entirety of the little map. Neptune will see this flash comes out trying to find the elimination, but Dazzle, meanwhile, over towards B, has completely quelled the entire hit from Rise. So they really have to either track back and clear mid, or take the long route for Neptune to join this hit over towards B. Neither are great options, because Neptune's trapped either way. Dre will really put that point to bed. As he finds another elimination through the middle of the map, and all of a sudden, Rise need to make a decision. Are we going to try to attack, or are we going to try to clear? I mean, the thing is, you have to either attack B or have to funnel back through your own spawn, because getting into middle right now is going to be so tough to cross that it's been established, and your boy Dre Jeez. able to pick up on Superman, keep his presence. Ban is still there, providing the crossfire option through the mid arch. One enemy and he does get that trade on to Poise, so they will stay <laughs> with yep. He's only got one option, so now there's 10 seconds on the clock. Derek's going to be met up close by Dazzle, and all of a sudden, Luminosity... Now. 
Drake getting really aggressive. Gravity Well trying to free him up through a long. Shanks up top. Oh, he's not going to to get it to dismiss. Oh Comes through. Oh, with a cover. And LG walk away cleanly with the aggressive play through a main. They had four guys oh, there. And the Rod is like, what in the world? There's four people beaking a main. At least they know that he is open. But they still have to get past the utility of a Proto. Uh, and they're not doing so. A Proto's laying them down. Five oh, he's saying, we, I heard you there, Shift and Dust. Let me show you what I got cooking in the kitchen. And on that is they certainly have a lot of utility set up to disrupt this A attack. Well, that's for darn sure. Here it comes. Everyone baited on in. Boys looking for the angle. Finds one. Lots of damage onto a second. That's Tig, who's low. Oh, the Nanoswarm finishes things off. And boys able to lock down the A site, but wait a second. Nazzle gets through in the back. Dre able to put down boys, and all of a sudden, it's Luminosity who finds themselves for a potential plan. Rise looking to contest this early, but the flash is not ideal. Shanks essentially taken out of the play by a friendly Hawk, and now it's a 3v1 favoring the LG offense. Yeah, this is not looking good whatsoever here for Shanks on low eight. Some mid control following the owl drone attacking market, and they are wasting no time with mm. your boy Dre leering in. But now they're not going B, they're going straight into back calls. They're looking to try to pull out something for these boys. Uh -huh. way this 3v4 offensively can actually still have a chance. Supa has gained a bit of space, finds one, sees the ponytail fan over the top of the boxes, but can't convert the kill. Ban responds, able to collect the spike, but the problem here is. How do you deal with the other three members that are immediately above you? And the answer Ooh. is not going to be a very good one. Ban able to stay in a corner for a Boys for free. It allows them to get quicker access to it puts a lot more pressure on Superman to hold, and maybe that could have worked out, but... The boys getting one and getting... Try to challenge back over towards the mid-market. And, well, wouldn't you know it, <laughs> just catches Dre. Wow. Mid-breath right in towards market, and now Derek going to work with the Odin actually does confirm a bit of damage. You do have a little bit of utility being spent from the side of Ryze's defense to try to hold off on this, but LG still pushed through, including Van's wall. Derek now having to force to respond to anything and everything that comes his direction. Point one, affected by the slower, but his teammates are there to help. And it means that Tig, the last hope, needs to come back to the spike with 12 seconds and find these eliminate for now. Wait for this to dissipate, which it does. Empress for Dre, though. Able to find one. Proto simultaneously gets the second. Shanks on the flank. Moving his way forward, looking to get the blades into play. And Poise has opened up a bit of space, but not quite enough. And Dre's empress. Someone's in that doorway. I wish the boy Jay would have let it slide by. I think he could have been a bit more of a ninja in that regard. He's there, but he still gets the entry, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. It's more than serviceable eliminations, though. This has kept everything all level. Seekers come through. Guiding Lights as well. Affected his ban. Reptune not quite holding down enough ammunition to find Dazzle as well. Shanks looking for the trade, but has to be cautious holding on to the Operator. And now Garden is completely possessed by LG. Proto going to reinforce that, and Shanks misses a shot up top three. Continue to put pressure down mid. Neptune should know for a fact that Proto's in the corner wow. and does find a second elimination. That's massive for Rise overall. But Derek trying to get shock darts into the site will be taken away from the picture. So now 4v3, still a weapon fight. advantage overall for the side of LG's offense. And still beyond that, three players pretty darn healthy. Cosmic Divide going to split the site into two. Put a little bit of pressure here. But again, Neptune able to clear some space. Dive right on in. Finds a third elimination. How has Neptune done this? But Dre and Ban down low. Find a couple. 1v1. Dre! What? Some pretty big plays there to kind of take away what LG was doing. Again, LG kind of using conditioning, right? They've been constantly droning middle and then pressing it and threatening market. And so they did a great job of kind of forcing. Dre thinking about this. Lear's going to come through. Hunter's Fury now. Maybe to create a little bit of space. That's Dazzle. He's able to defect onto one. Gets the kill on the Supa. Now a 5v4. Dre still looking to push forward. That's the last Leer into play. Gets a look at Neptune and takes off his head. Now dismisses a cross. See Shanks in the corner. He wants it. Give it to him. Finds more beyond it and ban. Just off screen able to find. Looking to strike off the back of it. Honor's Fury certainly a big factor as well. Creating that opening into Garden. But like you said, Derek, all of a sudden, maybe making this interesting. Oh. He could get flanked. Oh, he's still getting. Oh, he still got burnt by that again. Oh my gosh. I don't think he anticipated that happening. No way. And Proto's given himself such a huge advantage. This would have been two 1v1s with Derek at full HP, but now oh my. on their offensive half to start things off. They have been perfect in the pistols, at least thus far through a set. Things looking a bit more questionable here, though, but Dre again finds two. Shanks able to stay alive around the backside of the barrier, finds one. There will not be a full-on trade. Players up top, though, making life difficult for Ryze to hold on to this site. We live with a 2v2. Tig changes that. Now an advantage over towards LG's offense. Superman down low. Watch to take the rope. Finds the first, but doesn't get the second. Dazzle takes the child. Beach against this time around, so looking to slice and dice to say sight. 
Obviously, Dazzle does have the Marshall, and he's able to get a second shot off on the Shanks. Converted the first to the torso. Second will finish the job. And not only is that the first blood, Dazzle's one tick away from having a Hunter's Fury. They forced out a handle storm early. Tig spam shots Ooh. through the container, nearly converts a kill into Supa. And LG are all over the site. There is a bit of reveal coming through as Ryze are trying to contest, but there's just not enough clearance from the front. There's an opportunity for LG to even farm a couple more kills and still actually beyond that, find a couple of ARs to really solidify this post yeah, plan. Look at the upgrades here. Being able to get Vandals or Monkey on pretty much their whole lineup, and now Tig is lighting oh. up the scoreboard with it. Neptune left alone. Dre taking a lot of space towards the site, however, though. It's caught. That's big. Tried to get really aggressive. Not a lot of space to make that play happen. Shanks able to finally put down one more member. Tig with one response before being traded. And this is looking much more complete from Rise. And you really do have to credit the fact that Shanks just brings the big gun to the table yes. and essentially just single-handedly puts this. Here we go. Neptune, something different. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. That's not great. Nope. Not. That's really not oh, great. That's even worse. Yeah. <laughs> That's uh, that's about as bad as my casting last round right there. That's fair. Yeah. Just the last five seconds, though. I thought I was doing pretty good up to that point. No, you're doing fine. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of like the initial five seconds of that play from that. Hey, we're a team here. It's here true. Me. I appreciate it. Yeah. There's some joke in there about I'll pick you up when you were down. One of those lean on me references. Sure. But we're boomers, so no one gets that. <laughs> it's so true, dude. I make so many errant references that nobody gets. Yeah, you know. Oh, that reference from you last week, by the way, the, uh, take. that big gulps, huh? You missed that one from last week? Yeah, they're doubling back, and they should find themselves a pretty exposed site, right? I mean, it's just Eric here kind of playing from the top. Not going to really be able to put too much up. Hello? See you later. Boy, Dre takes the elevator to Fragtown. Planted, but this could get contested early, especially with a lockdown in hand for Poise. He's just waiting on the call to hit it. There it is. And watching over the corner just to see if Derek wants to peek this before he's eventually going to have to come through. And oh my goodness, Derek Pete does peek it. Finds the kill, no problem. Even Drake, Pinstrike goes the kill feed. Neptune, though. Paint Shell's able to get involved. Wants to try to stick this in. Oh, ah, how about it from Tig? Clutch up yeah. position backside green. May just do enough. Boys has to deal with this. So the problem is, as he's forced to, Dazzle Another has one. reset and moved. Like you mentioned, still one more to deal with up close, and yeah, Poise is not a position to deal with this whatsoever. LG's gonna take oh. another round. And that's a burn. Roll the dice on that. Yeah. I don't know. Takes down low. Nice right click, finds one. Information on more, but Dre snuck around the corner after he initially made the play through the traps, or the through the wire as well. Superman over on the side. Nothing he could do there with the Sheriff. But Poise continues to fight back in these very difficult rounds. That's just until Dre gets involved. My goodness, how good has Dre been? Yeah, again, I, I think you should have rolled the dice on repositioning that Viper wall over towards Vita, more traditional location, the kind of, you know, now they're pressuring Vita as well with the order. Oh, and a big pick from Tig. Pressuring Tube now as well. Neptune going to get caught on the aggression. It's just piling on Rise at this point. The hunt begins. Well, now the Empress will make life even more difficult for Shanks as he's going to be in a 1v4. Aldrone oh scouts him out. Super does find a kill and Shanks has an escape. So there is that to consider. Derek is here to try to assist and maybe even further beyond that, keep this A zone contested. And as Shanks comes back to the battle, hold on a second. There's another elimination, but Dre. Oh, it's Dre. He just misses through. He paid. That wasn't a great interaction. Wall right to block off the shock dart. But regardless, Tig will still plant without consequence. And, well, now the retake again going to be asked as not just getting onto the site. They're going to have to try to push through in towards yellow. Good first two kills. Derek locks one with the marshal. Shanks a second. Toggles the spike, trying to bait out some utility, but there is still resurrection to come into play. Boy is able to find oh one boy. more responding behind this, but again, this play through yellow is looking okay until Poise has something to say about it. Now it's all about Tig. 1v3 situation finds the first. No more snake fights after this next one. And that bounce pass is actually a considerable miss. amount, maybe even short. Yeah, not going to find the kill. Derek puts it away. But LG seems to just be in such a rhythm. Oh, my God. Yeah. I mean, the delayed plays that we keep seeing from LG have been undeniable so far. Shanks does get a trade, but as he enters into the Viper's Pit, Tig says, nope, this is my area to have fun with, my little playhouse. So 4v2, okay, that works right, from Derek. Yeah. That makes things a bit more manageable, and there is still a boom bot. Mm -hmm. Try to clear up maybe a bit more space, but Proto just says not to allow you to play with your utility at all. So now it is just on to Derek. Finds the first, and what's going to be another two? Coming around the corner, does still have two shock darts, but has to check every angle, and there's just... 
I mean, you got to think confusion is maybe even set in beyond that. I mean, you've oh, tried yeah. a lot of stuff, like you mentioned, and just, you haven't found a lot of success, including even first blood here. Dazzle's even going to put a little bit of pressure on. Oh, my God. A bit of friendly fire on to Dre, but once again, it's Bandium to find the second kill, and Tig's on the long flank. Boys, are you ready for this? Nope, not at all. And so now the last two Rise members are completely trapped on this A site. It's yes, been... there's a Viper's been to keep them safe, but they have nowhere to go. It's been this combination of not only just the really fast-paced attacks onto A side the majority of the time, but then it's what they do with it, right? They can double back to B, they can them to trudge into A, but oh my god, this A defense is uh, oh, pretty boy. well stacked. It very much so is. Shanks will get the brute force of the first. Oh no, Proto, he's found two. Superman trying to recover, but there's just nowhere to go. And there's no ball is huge. It's like a huge thing. Oh. And there's literally like you can only there's rules where like you can only hit so many home runs. If you hit more than the limit of home runs you can hit, you get negative runs essentially. Holy cow, okay, yeah. That's yeah, that's the whole thing. Speaking of knocking together the park, dazzle for two. Easy segue. In a 2v2 situation, that Tig has again snuck behind the play. And everything falls onto Neptune's shoulders. Does get one. Not as cleanly as I think he would hope. Does finals. Indeed, it would. Finally, LG taking that step back up again. With This is a team, again, that we talked about. Had a very strong start to the year. When you looked at some of the Dirt Street Gamer events, they play together here and making a challenge for Challengers playoffs. They are one round away from being there. Oh my and goodness, well, the damage. So much utility damage and put them to finish.